Each Labor Day weekend, the people of Santo Domingo Pueblo, located between Albuquerque and Santa Fe, gather in the plaza to display their arts and crafts. Native American artist and cartoonist Ricardo Cate joins us with the details. Hi, Ricardo. How are you doing? I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for adorning our set with your, the beauty of your artwork. And so I want to start this interview by asking you, what is so unique about the Santo Domingo Arts and Crafts Show? Well, um, uh, what's so unique about it is that you'll be able to see a lot of this artwork. And this isn't my artwork, by, by the way. This is the artwork of mm. uh, my people, various necklaces, yes. uh, belts, pottery uh, will all be available for uh, people to see and purchase uh, this weekend at the Labor Day weekend market. Yes, and I want to mention that more than 300 artists will be exhibiting their work. And you did bring some of your artwork with you, though, a few pieces that you've brought. So I'd love for you to tell us about those. Well, yeah, uh, along with uh, the, the traditional stuff, uh, mm -hmm. there's also going to be contemporary things like my artwork as well. Yes. Uh, I draw cartoons, and um, I brought a couple of my uh, pieces here with me. Um, this first one. Wow. Uh, uh, Highly advanced Pueblo home security system. <laughs> I uh, love that. And this other one is uh, has a picture of a casino with a native yelling to his other na uh, fellow natives, uh, "We have customers." And there's a ship <laughs> coming in from uh, the Atlantic Ocean. So it's so uh, creative. Yeah, and I have I have a lot of other artwork there, and there there'll be other artwork of uh, uh, my people and other pueblos, other tribes as well. It's uh, so wonderful. So we also have entertainment. Yes, and before we get to the entertainment, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the things you're showcasing here. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about some of these pieces? Uh, yeah, well, there, um, like I said, um, a lot of these uh, belts that, mm -hmm. that were uh, made by, by my people, um, uh, the silver and tur turquoise, um, Gosh, it's all sterling silver. Just beautiful. And uh, a lot of the necklaces, uh, some, some are coral, some are turquoise, and uh, bolo ties as oh, well. The bolos are There'll gorgeous. There'll be a huge uh, amount of bolo ties for the men who wear the, them. And uh, we have a water jug here that mm. was uh, um, that will also be uh, uh, various styles of pottery, mm -hmm. uh, including uh, uh, we have Robert Tenorio from from the village, and as mm -hmm. well as uh, Thomas Tenorio, who, who will have their own pottery there. So everything you see here, there'll be other styles and variations of of what you see here. Mm -hmm. And so um, you can't take it all in one day. You have to probably go. <laughs> But twice or spread it out through the weekend yeah. and uh, 300 booths plus nine food booths and uh, also farmer farmers uh, vendors will yes be out there as well. speaking of that I want to mention the fact that you actually brought some fresh produce with you and I want to talk about what you've brought and what will be available oh yeah th these are just a few of the items that are available uh, we have chili we have corn watermelon melons that are grown Gosh. in the village uh, we'll also have sugar canes. Ooh, You'll see kids good for running mojitos. around with sugar canes. Yeah. <laughs> so there'll be all kinds of, of produce. I have to bring up the corn, though. I have never in my lifetime seen corn that big. I, that, that is huge. Well, huge. we were fortunate there was enough rain this year to, yes. to produce stuff like this. And so um, all this will be available. That this is weekend. fantastic. Okay, and let's go back to what you did say entertainment. I want to know about the entertainment as well. Yeah, we have a couple of hoop dancers, one hoop dancer mm. from Taos. Nice. Another one from um, Hopi, okay. and then we have uh, two groups of Zuni dancers nice. um, dancing. And uh, we usually have no picture taken on the village, but this is the one time opportunity to be able to take pictures of oh, the dancers. Good, and good. And so you know you, you're welcome to bring your cameras, and uh, it's it's just going to be a fun-filled uh, weekend. Absolutely, so. and something for everybody, whether it's the food, whether it's the art, whether it's jewelry. Every, I mean, really, it's some, it's a feast for the eyes and a feast for the tummy. Everything, everything. something for all the senses. And I want to mention to our viewers that you write the cartoon without reservations, mm -hmm. which has actually appeared in the Santa Fe New Mexican newspaper for the past six years, mm -hmm. and he has also written a book with the same title. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, this is my book that, that came out August 1st. Okay. And as far as I know, uh, my cartoon is the only native cartoon that uh, appears in a mainstream newspaper. Wow. And so this is kind of special. And uh, uh, this book is available nationwide uh, in Barnes & Noble, also on Amazon.com. That's you great. You can order recording. these on Amazon.com. And uh, they're only $10. That's so. it? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. That is so wonderful, and I'm so glad that you're sharing it with the public. And now mm -hmm. we all have a chance to buy it, and so many places to buy it. Yeah. And so many people are going to come on out this weekend. And I want to remind everybody the book is called Without Reservations, and the show we've been talking about takes place Saturday, Sunday, and Monday from 8 to 5. So 
First, let's tell our viewers how we can get to the Pueblo. Oh, um, uh, either way, if you take I-25 north or uh -huh. south, coming from Albuquerque or Santa Fe, you mm -hmm. exit on 259. Okay. And um, if you get kind of lost, uh, there'll be a gas station out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's a 259 exit. And uh, the road, um, there'll be signs along the road, which is another four or five miles before you get to the village. Okay. And, so don't uh, be afraid. If you're, if you're approaching, you'll know once you yeah, see the Yeah, and you'll see other vehicles, and parking is free, admission is free. Great. Um, it's, you know, what more can you ask for? It's, right? This, free. This is a great, great opportunity, like I said, to see dances, to see our yes. artwork, and um, eat our great food. Yeah, a, wonder way, a wonderful way to celebrate tradition and culture and art on yeah. a holiday weekend. Thank you so much, yeah, Ricardo. So. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Well, thank you for having us. Thank you.